Would you like to know if this series converges or diverge, sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, e to the 1 over n over n? As we can see, we just have the n on the denominator, so we can come up with the harmonic series, and we can use a comparison test with that. So let me write down, we know that the harmonic series, which is the sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n, just 1 over n. This right here, it diverges. And you can say this is like n to the first power, which the p right here is 1, which is less than 1 equal to 1. Then that's one of the p series, right? All right, so how are we going to make the comparison? Well, we have two choices. Uh, let's go ahead and use the limit comparison test, and we'll check limit. An is the original, and Bn is something that we know much better. So I'm going to write down here is the check as n goes to infinity, let me put down a n first, we have e to the 1 over n over n over something that we know much better, which is just 1 over n, that's the b n part. Let's do some algebra, this is going to be the top, which is e to the 1 over n over n times, we flip the bottom, which is n over 1, and then the n cancel out, which we have e to the 1 over n. As n approaches to infinity, we can plug in infinity right here. This approaches to e to the 1 over infinity, and we can draw a conclusion right here, isn't it? 1 over infinity is 0, so this is the same as approaching to e to the 0, where e to the 0 is 1. And as we can see, 1 is the limit after we do an over bn as n goes to infinity. And more importantly, 1 is greater than 0, and 1 is not 0, and 1 is not. Um, infinity. So we get to draw conclusion based on the limit that we got with the uh, limit comparison test. And the conclusion that we can say is this and that, well, both of them diverge or both of them converge. Because we know this diverges already and that will be diverge as well. This also diverge. And the reason is by the limit comparison test with sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n. And this right here is the conclusion. That's it. And if you want to use the direct comparison test, you just have to make sure you do with a second inequality. You said this and try to check if it's greater than or equal to um, something that we know, which was a divergent. I will leave that to you. This is it.